Good morning. So, today we are going to install Badger's Build Styles manually. If you have already used a loader, like the Nexus loader or the Thunderstore loader, this video is not for you. I don't use loaders. I've had bad experiences with them and I've talked to other people in the dev community for the mods and they also do it manually. So, if you have done it that way, this video is not for you. If you have done it manually, then this video part two is for you. Part one is if you've never installed it, and I'm going to show you how to manually install it. So, the first thing you need to do is go to the link in the description and bring up the Badger's Build Style page on Nexus Mods. The second thing I need you to do is on your desktop, I want you to right click, new, folder, and name it BBS for Badger Build Styles. BBS. All right. The third thing I need you to do is open Steam at the top where it says store, library, community, and your name. I want you to click on library. And then I want you to go straight below it on the left hand side to Valheim where my mouse is right click it scroll down to properties and click on it and it's going to bring up this general box on the left hand side i want you to go down three tabs to local files and then go over to your right and click on browse and that's going to bring up your steam folder now what I want you to do is find Bepinex. Some of you will have it at the top. Some of you will be like me and have it at the bottom. It's just wherever you've put it. As far as like doing it by name. So click on Bepinex. And then click on plugins. And leave that sit there. Okay. So minimize it. And then go ahead and close out the Steam folders and bring up your Badger's Build Styles folder uh, web page. And at the very top, it is the one that was uploaded July 16th, and it is version. 1.0.1 right here where my mouse is on the right hand side of the download okay so then I want you to hit manual download I'm assuming you already have Bepinex installed if you don't please sift through my videos and I show you how to do the dependencies which Bepinex is in there. I sh it shows you how to manually install. So hit download. And then slow download. And then I want you to go to, on your left hand column, desktop and your BBS folder. Now ignore what I have in mind because I've already done this. And then hit 
save. Okay. And then you can just minimize or close this window out. Then go to your desktop to the BBS folder. On the RAR file, I want you to right click. If you do not have an extractor, please go get the free 7-zip. And then what you want to do is hit extract here. Now when you extract here, uh, where's it at right here? This one's going to be there. When you hit extract here, you're going to have this Badger's Build Styles file folder in a Badger's Build Styles DLL application extension. So what you can do is where the RAR file is, go ahead, right click and delete that. And then I want you to highlight the DLL, right click and cut. Open the Badger's Build Styles folder, right click and paste and put it in there. All right, then go back one step to the Badger's Build Style folder, right click it and hit copy. And then come down and open up your plugins folder. Right click and paste. And now you should have your Badger's build style folder in there. Okay. Then what you'll want to do is start Steam. and start your Valheim game. Go in, paint a couple walls or do something like that. And then log out and then quit. And then on this page where the play is green, it'll be blue for a few seconds. It'll be like this uh, bluish gray. Um, a lot of people exit out of the game real quick and quit and everything. And they don't let this happen and you need to. Is let this turn back to green and say play. It'll be like a bluish color and it'll say stop. And you don't want to do that. You want it to go ahead and finish exiting you out of the game and saving. I've had so many people say, I did all this, and it didn't save anything. This has nothing to do with Badger's builds. This is in general with the game. I went and hunted such and such boss and everything else, and I quit the game, and I logged back in the next day, and everything was gone. It was all back to where I started. And that's why they didn't let it finish. Let it finish exiting the game okay so then when that's done if you go back into your you can close your bbs folder out on the desktop because we're done with it go back to your badgers build styles folder that you have and go into the config and make sure that your world is saved in there it should have a world config and a world backup for each world. Okay. If you only have one world, then you're only going to see one of each. If you have two worlds, then you're going to see one of each for each one. All right. I have, uh, I think four on here. One, two, three, four. Yeah. That I'm playing on this one. So, you should see this. If you don't see this, then what you need to do is go back a folder and then back a folder and then back a folder again. 
Then down here at the bottom where it says log output, open it. It might ask you, do you want to use a program? Don't use the check mark that says um, always use this. Let me see if I can find one like this. Don't leave the check mark. Uncheck it and choose notepad for the log output. And then what you can do is hit control A to select all right click it hit copy and then on the badgers build styles page down here where it says description files images videos posts where it says posts come over here to the right where my mouse is going round and round and click add comment and type in I used blah 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 okay um, I used your mod and when I logged out in my config file nothing was there and then hit enter enter so it leaves a space and then hit control V like Victor and paste that log in there and, and let them know below is the log. And he'll take a look at it. But I, I don't see an issue. I'm just letting you know if you have an issue, that is how you go about reporting an issue. Is you can show them the log output uh, from the game in this log output file. It'll show any errors. It'll show anything that they need to see or look at. And they can say, oh yeah, I'm seeing it's not saving it here. We need to fix that. You know what I'm saying? So that's how that works. That's how you install it. That's how you use it. If anything goes awry, you know how to do a log output and share that information with them on his page under posts all right guys okay so then what i need now are the people who have already downloaded and installed a earlier version of badger's build styles and they need the new one so same thing for you guys go to your desktop right click new folder bbs go to steam library right click valheim properties down to local files and browse then go down to Bepinex and plugins okay then your badger build styles folder I want you to open it okay I want you to highlight GUI texture, build style assets. Wait, I'm sorry. Click on GUI texture, hold on your control, build style assets, build styles DLL, in the icons folder. Then I want you to right click. I'm sorry, hold the control key just like I've been explaining. Keep a hold of that control key, right click and delete. Okay. So the only two folders you should have left in here are config and textures. All right. Leave those two in there. 
I'm not going to do this because I've already done it. All right. So leave config and textures sit in this folder. All right. Then go ahead to your, your desktop there and close out your um, Steam. All right. So the only thing you should have open is your Badger's Build Styles folder. And we're going to go to here and minimize it. All right. So now let's go to the Badger's Build Styles download. Make sure you're on the latest one. So make sure that the date uploaded is the newest as compared to the others and make sure that to the far right the version number right now is 1.0.1 .1. and that could change because I know he has uh, some other uh, updates coming out but I don't know when but this is the most current so hit manual download then hit download then hit slow download then over here go to your desktop on your far left then open up that bbs uh, folder and then hit save i'm not going to do it because i've already done it then you can go ahead and close out your explorer you don't need it or your Chrome or whatever you're using. I'm using Chrome. Then go to your desktop and open up BBS. Now you're going to have, I don't right now because I deleted it out of here, but you're going to right click on the RAR file that's in here and hit extract all. And I don't know if I can. Yeah, there it is. Okay. So on your RAR file, you're going to right click it. And same thing. If you don't have an extractor, go get the free one 7 zip. Hit extract here. And it's going to give you these two folders you can go ahead on that RAR file right click and delete it and then click on the badger build styles dll and slide it up into the badgers build styles folder and then i want you to open it then i want you to come to the Badger's build style folder here and make it smaller so they're side by side. And this one will say Valheim Bepinac. Oops. <laughs> It'll say uh, Valheim Bepinac Common, all that. That's how you know that that's the one you need. The one that says BBS Badger build style is what it's going to go into. All right. So inside your plugins where you are on the Badger's build style, remember you still have that config and textures folder. So I want you to open the config folder and whatever's in here, I want you to highlight it, right click and cut. And come over to the config that's over here, right click and then paste it all in there. Okay. Then I want you to go down to your textures and I want you to control A to uh, select all and then I want you to right click and hit cut. Come over here to this textures, open it up, right click and paste. All right. And then go ahead and back out of there until you're back to the Badger Build Styles 
that's in your BBS folder. And then bring up your other folder and go all the way back till you're at the Badger Build Styles folder in your plugins. I want you to right click your Badger Build Styles that's in your Bepinex folder and hit right click it and hit delete. And then come over to the BBS, right click and copy. Then back over to your plugins folder, right click and paste. Now you have the new download update and you have saved your config file and your um, textures folder. All right. Then what I want you to do is go ahead and close everything out. Fire up your Steam. Log into your game. Paint a couple walls. You know, do some stuff with the uh, mod. Then I want you to log out. And then quit the game. Wait for the Steam icon to settle back to start or play. I forget which it is. I was just there. Start or play? Play. Wait for it to say play. And then go back in and see if anything that you did stayed there. In other words, if you painted four walls blue, make sure those four walls are still blue after logging out and then exiting and then going back in. Make sure those four walls are blue or whatever you did. And if you have any issues and it's not working, then you can pull up your Valheim folder and do the log output over to the Badger's Builds um, page that I showed earlier where you can go here to posts add comment and you can right click and paste your log output which I showed earlier in the video for the first part of this and tell them what your issue is if you're having one and they can say oh well you need this or you have to do that or I'm telling you, I've learned with these mods that 90% of the time it is user error. But there is that, you know, 5 or 10% of the time where the mod dev is in the middle of uh, updating an issue or something like that. This is a brand new mod. It's going to have issues. All mods have issues. Especially with as many mods as there are out there. And people... Are using the different mods with uh, using mods with other mods and they butt heads um, the best thing to do is go and post it so that the mod dev is aware of the issue they can't fix something that's broke if they don't know it's broke all right um, but I think he's doing really well um, he's got one bug which is the raft because we knew that the build helper had an issue and he fixed that right away same day you see it was the same day and uh, they just had another issue that they found yesterday or late last night um, that he's working on now which is the raft uh, it's not working with the raft the the colliders and the meshes aren't working with the raft um, but he is aware of it and he is working on a um, patch for that or a fix or whatever I don't know the terms but he's working on that so if you have an issue this is where you go posts add comment and talk to them 
Norger is part of the group. Um, Badger, of course, is the mod dev. Um, Blacks is part of the group. So these guys are on the ball getting back in touch with everybody and working on any of the issues that are arising. And as you see, there's only one bug. It's only been out for a week. Um, over 3,500 people are using it. So um, that, that's pretty good, only having one bug. Two, one is fixed. So only having two bugs in 3,500 downloads is pretty good. So now you guys know how to manually install it for the first time. Now you know how to switch it over uh, to the updated version and save your config and your textures. Guys, don't do updates that need the texture and the config without saving your textures and config because when you go to go in it's going to be gone all right so make sure that you're doing that make sure that you're saving that all right that's it for me guys i hope that uh you guys love this mod as much as i do if you've seen my videos you, you see all the stuff i've been doing with it so and I had my issues too when I when when I was first helping them. Uh, I had issues is what how it started. I was having issues, and I ended up uh, helping them test it before they released it, which uh, before he released it, which was really cool because um, I had a bunch of uh, really weird issues because I had eighty eight or eighty six mods. And so I had many issues that it was button heads with and he fixed every single one and every single time, you know, it, it he was doing this for weeks and weeks and, and it was fantastic. I, I learned, I learned a lot, but I know a little, if that makes any sense. Um, I can't use the terminology and stuff that they do, but I can understand it. So, um, fantastic mod guys. Enjoy it download it have fun with it play with it it's fantastic it's fun um, you can get your own textures i explained that in another video so check that out because i tell you what you can use for textures what it accepts for textures i also give you a link to uh, one that i did and i'll actually show you really quick um why i did uh ambient cgs where i go categories all right say you want this wood texture right here or anyone over here to your right hand side you see the difference in the megabytes right 13 55 222 97 okay always get the 1k png don't do the jpegs and there's another one too if i can find one i'll show it to you so when you download it whoops i didn't mean to download it when you hover over to download it it'll show you wood floor 46 1k color png displacement png normal png and roughness png so when you download it the only ones that you need to save are the color and the normal you can delete displacement and you can delete roughness because it does not save uh it does not work in the texture mod and I show you the ones that do. There's color, normal, diffuse, and metalness. Those are the ones that you want to save out of the downloads. And that's another video. Check it out. I'm just showing you real quick. So what I did was I downloaded, um, I think a thousand different textures. 
and I've already taken all that stuff out. So all you need to do is open it, select all, copy paste into the textures folder. You don't have to take out the ones that don't go with the mod. I've already done that for you. I'm looking for one that I know where I can go actually right here. See if I hover. Or no, wait a minute. Let me see. I got to click on it. If I hover over it. Okay, now see this one says color, displacement, metalness, normal, and roughness. You would have to save color, metalness, and normal. All three of those have to go into the textures folder for that texture to work. But you would delete displacement and roughness. And like I said, there's a whole other video on this, guys. And if you'd rather, most of what you're going to find on this website is in that uh, zip file that I made for you guys. And all the stuff is already taken out that you don't need. All right. Like a lot of these um, textures are in it. They use round balls. I was kind of confused at first. I was like, I don't want a round ball. I want the texture. And they start laughing and said, well, that is the texture. So the texture is what it is, not the roundness to it. So I was like, oh, okay. Because I had never done it that way. Any textures I've ever seen are on a flat, like wallpaper. Never on a round ball. Um, so anyhow, most of these textures I have, I even threw in just for fun mm, where are they I can't even see them there they are I even threw in some danger signs and stuff like that hazmat signs and stuff no crossing just for fun but I already took that all the guesswork out for you guys on the downloads like which one do I do? Because all mine are one K PNGs and it only keeps the two or three folder or two or three files that go with each one. So when you're in your let me show you. When you're in your Badger's Build Styles Textures folder. Oh no. <laughs> I'm on the BBS one, I'm sorry, on my desktop. Common, Valheim, Bevanex, Plugins, Badger Build Styles. Okay, so when you're in your textures folder, this is what I mean. Like, I want this texture. Well, I have to take the textures that go with it, the background. So it's going to look like this one on your left, but you have to have both of these in order for this one to work. And see this one's called diffuse so you want diffuse normal uh, let me see what another one is color diffuse normal color and metalness um like here's a perfect one here this pipe i need color i need metalness and i need normal just to get this one you have to make sure you have these so i have them all broke down into categories and then i have them in like numbered one through 50 or one through 20 or one through 30 and each one is by itself i didn't throw them all in a big thing like this and say choose what you want i have this these two in one folder then i have these two uh, where's this at? I don't know where that's at. Oh, I took this out, but I forgot to take that out. That's funny. Um, so, like this black stone right here, that's in one folder. This black wood here, these are in one folder. Bricks, same thing, one folder. That way, all you have to do is select both of them, bring them over to texture, and paste them. Go to the next folder open it up decide if you want it if you want it select them copy and paste them so i made it really simple all right so that's in my other video 
um, that ex to explain that. And the name of that one is, um, let's see. Right here, how to get textures. It's called um, Badger's Build Styles, How to Get Textures. And I'm not going to play it, but down below, I show you the ambient CG. I tell you what to do. I tell you what textures is accepted. And then I also give you a link um, right here. Here is a copy of my my zip file for you guys um it's plug and play hassle free all you have to do is download it extract it and then click and do the ones you want i suggest when you open up your valheim plugins folder go to badger's build styles right click it and hit pin, pin to quick access that way it's over here pinned on your left hand side so if you need to go to your badgers builds this is the one that's this pc downloads okay so this is move that's on my desktop mm, we move that's on my desktop move. okay just so I have the right one all right so I I suggest putting it here on your left hand side so all you have to do is click it and then you can open up textures so that when you're doing your textures you can just come here right click and paste right click and paste right click and paste um, see I have my textures folder right here so it takes me right to it boom so Um, I have a lot of these quick pins. Rocker Kitten, one of the mod devs, um, actually showed me how to pin to quick access so I had easier access to my stuff. Because I was like, I can't, like, I download my mods, but I don't know where I put, you know. So now I have my textures are here. And here's how it is, like brick. And then you open up one and you say, oh, I want this. So you would select both of these, right click copy then you would go to your um uh, what did it say your textures folder and you would right click and paste it right in there so it's nice to have these quick pins i just always have to remember like where where it's at <laughs> That's all. And I go back to my mods and back to my textures. But that's, this is how I have it. So when you guys, if you download it and unzip it, it's going to come like this. But there's going to be a whole bunch of them. This is just the first one I did back in June. This is July. But like you click on wood, I have 60 different wood textures. So you'll click on them one at a time, see what the wood texture you can... Um, Click on it make it bigger and that's what it's going to look like you know and then you just select the one that you want all right and that's how they are you would select all three of these and paste them into your textures folder you don't have to delete like the three or four that come with it that you don't need I already did that for you. I only left in here the ones that you need in order to have that texture. But I have categories brick, carpet, marble, metal, 
miscellaneous walkway wood um like the walkway one is like tiles and marble and stuff like that so it's really cool the miscellaneous is it's just an array of different like lava um it looks really cool and fire and stuff like that this one here is fire looks really cool on a uh i put it underneath the uh, the kiln underneath the kiln i break my kiln color the tile with that red and then put the kiln back over top of it so it looks like there's a constant fire it's pretty awesome but that's how it goes this is the video to check out guys um that's how you download it that's how you install it i told you um how to go in and check it after you do it and then that's it you're good to go all right and i also showed you how on his page to go to posts and add a comment if you need to all right i hope that helps you guys and as always i'll see you in the next one